everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Mel Mouse Cooking Show. We're gonna make ice cream. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. And Mau Mau has decided that it is uh, almost 11 o'clock at night, but that is ice cream o'clock. And she thinks that we should make some ice cream with our mini ice cream makers from Dash. We have two of them. And the reason that they're sitting here open is because we had to freeze the containers. So if you'll hang on just a minute, we will uh, get the instructions and be right back with you. All right, so here we have our little instruction manual. And they have this little paper inside. It says, uh, attention, read this insert before using the appliance. So this goes through the steps. Step one, hello, Chef Mama. Uh, step one, prepare your ice cream recipe, which you have the book here to find that. Step two, place your ice cream mix into a freezer safe container. We recommend a sealable plastic bag for faster results. Step three, place the container into the freezer for at least 30 to 45 minutes. It's been in there a couple of days. Um, step four, after pre-chilling your ingredients, refer to page 10 through 12 for instruction of uh, the instruction manual on how to use uh, your My Pint ice cream maker. And note, if you're still not satisfied with consistency of the, and the thickness of your ice cream, pre-chill your ice cream mixture for a longer amount of time. So... Um, <laughs> since it's uh, heavy whipping cream and milk and that's been in the refrigerator you would think that that's been pre-chilled but apparently they're saying that you need to chill this in the freezer even though we've already uh, had the container in the freezer for um, a couple of days the mixture itself needs to be put into the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes in a plastic bag so that's unfortunate um because we haven't done that. All right, so anyhow, here's your manual telling you all your pieces and parts of your machine. They have a power switch and the mi mixing spoon and a motor unit. And a cooling bowl, which is in the freezer. And then you have your cooling container, which is this portion. And your paddle, which is right here. So, and I didn't show you the spoon, but there's the spoon. So, um, of course, they want you to, you know, take it apart, clean it. We've done all of that. The cooling bowl is most effective in the first 20 minutes of use. It needs to be placed in the freezer for 24 hours before being used again. Well, it's in the freezer now, so. Making ice cream in electric mode. It is recommended to freeze the cooling bowl for 24 hours. Done that. Uh, prepare your ice cream mixture and allow it to chill from 1 to 3 hours. Now, it said on here 30 to 45 minutes. But here it's saying 1 to 3 hours. So, note, the Dash My Pint ice cream maker can hold up to 1 cup of liquid mixture. Do not exceed 1 cup when preparing your ice cream. Okay, when sufficiently cold, place your cooling bowl into the cooling container, like photo B. So you put it inside of this cup thing. And you do what? Place on a stable surface. Attach the paddle to the motor unit and plug the motor unit and plug it in. Slowly pour your chilled ice cream mixture into the cooling bowl. Press the power switch to turn on the motor unit with the, the paddle spinning. Immediately after turning your power switch on, gently lower the motor unit into the spin in, okay, with the spinning paddle into the cooling bowl and allow the paddle to combine your mixture. Uh, be sure to hold onto the base. That's probably an important tip there. Mm -hmm. when, when the, the mixture, mixture is fully frozen and rises to fill the cooling bowl, the ice cream is ready to serve. Use your mixing spoon to enjoy your ice cream right from the chilled cooling bowl. Okay. Making ice cream in manual mode. Remove the cooling bowl from the freezer. Place in the cooling container. 
pour your chilled ice cream into. So apparently you can mix this by hand. So if you don't want to use the motor, you don't have to. You can just mix it with the spoon. But you have to mix it like up against the sides of the bowl so that it can freeze. Cleaning and maintenance. And your recipes. So we're going to um, start with your basic vanilla recipe, which is two cups of heavy cream, one cup of milk, and they tell you to use whole milk. Um, Three-fourths cup of sugar and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So we want to make the basic vanilla, and I would like to make chocolate, if I can find that recipe. Hmm. I had it online, so it wasn't in here. I got it online. But you can just add, like, chocolate mix to it I guess all right well we're going to start with the classic vanilla because already we have other extra steps we need to do so uh, I'm going to mix up these ingredients and I'll be right back with you all right guys we are back and we've chilled this uh, mixture for about an hour and a half and we have our oops we have our um Ice cream machines ready to go here. I gotta put the beaters or the whatever you want to call them into the motor. There we go. There's that one. And that one. And now I have to get a measuring cup. Or does that have a line? No line. So I need a measuring cup. So I can make sure we don't go over a cup of the mixture. Do this over the sink because I don't think I really want it to go all over the floor. Hmm. Just a second. Just making sure I'm gonna put my measuring cup down in the sink and so make sure there's nothing uh, like soap or something to get on the bottom of that measuring cup. One cup of mixture. In that one. And one cup of mixture in that one. Lock this and put it back in the, we'll put it in the fridge. So I don't want it to freeze. Alright, so I want mine to be chocolate because chocolate's my preferred ice cream flavor. Usually I'd put cocoa in here, uh, cocoa powder, but I'm just going to put just a little bit of this chocolate syrup. Just a little. Says to turn this on and lower it down in here slowly. All right, so here we go. And they're not too loud. I, I realize you can't hear that for the furnace, probably. Chef Mau Mau's here inspecting to make sure I did it correctly. Okay, so it says, be sure to hold on to the base. Yep, we got it in there. When the mixture is fully frozen and rise to fill the cooling bowl, the ice cream is ready to serve. Use your measuring spoon. All right. Well, guys, they're in there. They are, sorry, they are churning. I'm trying to get you there so you can hear that kind of clicking sound. I realized that right when we turned it on, the furnace came on. But anyways, they're not too loud or anything. We're going to give them a few minutes. It doesn't say how long. Um, but I will bring you back in just a few minutes and we'll check on the progress. Chef Mau Mau's inspecting. She wants to make sure that I don't overturn and turn it to butter. I'm not sure if there's a risk of that with these little machines. Um, 
But Mau Mau is just making sure. Chef Mau Mau is uh, very concerned that we're going to turn it to butter. Of course, Chef Mau Mau loves butter. And Chef Mau Mau also likes cream cream. So she says either way, she, she'll, she'll eat it. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I just checked it, and actually, um, there is something starting to happen. It's got, like, ice crystals in it. It's, um, like, the consistency at the moment of a runny milkshake, and it's only been, oh, I don't know, I'd say three or four minutes at the most. So, um, just wanted to update you on what was happening with these ice cream makers. So... I'm afraid I probably didn't put enough chocolate in mine, but I didn't want to mess up the ratio and cause it not to, uh, you know, by adding another liquid in it. Because you're supposed to actually use cocoa powder. Sorry. I have a head. I'm not just a, a mouth. Although, my husband say I'm pretty mouthy. Uh, anyways, um, I was afraid that adding extra liquid to it would cause it not to freeze properly. Um... But I wanted to try a little bit of chocolate in it. I also have strawberries um, that I was going to try making a strawberry flavor, but we only have two. Um, in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have gotten a third one. That way I could have done Neapolitan ice cream. But uh, they're about 20 bucks a piece, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, they were on sale. So, anywho. Uh, Hopefully in a few minutes we have some ice cream. Be right back. Another neat thing is, I, I didn't uh, remember to tell you, is the little spoon that comes with it fits down into the handle. And so, that's pretty neat. So, um, yeah, they're like runny milkshakes. I'm impatient. I want it to be done now. Okay, the uh, furnace just shut off, so I just brought you back just so you could hear. They're, they're a little loud, but they're not terribly, terribly loud. You know, um, I don't think that, I don't think that uh, they're any louder than the full-size uh, maker would be. Um, I'm a little concerned that, I don't know, how, it doesn't give you a time uh, in the little booklet. It doesn't give you a, a amount of time to turn this. So I'm a little concerned that perhaps um, I should have gone ahead and, and chilled it for the full three hours in the freezer. Um, so it may not get firm enough. I don't know. Because they don't give you a time frame. So I'm not liking that in the booklet. And I guess that they would say probably, well, we don't know how firm you want your ice cream. Well... I want it to be ice cream, you know, at least soft serve consistency. Um, you know, I'm probably just not giving it enough time, but anyways, just wanted you to hear how that was going, and I'm going to give it about five minutes-ish and see what it's doing. I'll be back. Okay, guys, um, it's been another six or seven minutes. Let's turn off the vanilla and see how it's looking because it was already thicker than the chocolate. All right, uh, it's actually starting to do something as you can see. I think I'll give it another five minutes. I'm going to see what the chocolate one's doing. And as you can see, the chocolate one's much runnier, and that would be probably because I put the chocolate in it. All right, I'm going to give it about another five minutes. Be right back. Chef Mau Mau told me to tell you that a watched pot of ice cream never freezes. And it also never gets eaten by a cat. So she wants me to quit watching. I do not believe that Chef Mau Mau oversees this kitchen. Right there she is, guys. Overseeing. Overseeing it. Right up there on top of the cabinet. Watching my every move. Waiting for me to take my eyes off the ice cream so she can test it. Okay, uh, just really quickly, I, well, I forgot to tell you, we also still had a couple of the turnovers, uh, the peach turnovers from earlier today 
um, we put those back into the maker for a few minutes and let them heat up to crisp them back up and uh, sprinkle them with a little bit more powdered sugar and we we're going to try to do these a la mode style however uh, since this ice cream seems to be more of the consistency of a runny milkshake it wouldn't be very pleasant so but I wanted to let you know that any time that you have leftover say you make extra grilled cheese uh, or extra of the pizza pockets or whatever um, you can save those let them cool down put them in a sandwich baggie put them in the freezer put them in the refrigerator whatever if you're gonna put them in the freezer take them out of the sandwich bag let them thaw out on a on a plate um, but if you put them in the refrigerator, it's fine. Just take it straight out, put it in your maker and heat it up and it'll crisp it back up rather than eating it cold or eating it, um, heated in the microwave. Um, so if you're making, say, pizza pockets and, um, you're thinking, well, I've got the maker out, it's heated up, might as well make some for lunch tomorrow or whatever, um, go ahead and do that because you can save them and reheat them for later also works when you're making with your waffles or your uh, griddle the waffle maker maker or the griddle make up you know your you have your batter go ahead and cook it all up uh, refrigerate the leftovers or freeze them you can reheat them in the maker as well or with the waffles of course you can always pop those into your toaster just like you would Eggo waffles um, but if you don't want to do that as I said, you can do it in your maker. Um, so we're going to check and see what's going on with these now. All right, it seems to be about the same consistency. I'm going to say that that's as far as it's going to go. And that's unfortunate because that means mine <laughs> is just going to be a really runny milkshake. Hmm. Mmm, guys, that's vanilla ice cream. Mmm, oh my goodness. All right. That's that one. Honey, it's got the spoon in it. Mm -hmm. Taste that and see what you think. And make sure you say it loud enough for them to hear you. And mine's still really pretty liquidy. So, uh, for future reference, I would not put liquid chocolate in it because um, it hindered the um, freezing process just a little bit. So, definitely use your cocoa powder instead. Unless you don't care. Mm, oh, mine. Oh, man, that's good. Don't want to waste. And I also don't want to drip it all over the counter. Mmm. All right. Yep, that's ice cream. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Anyway. All right, so let's see how it's tasting. Of course, you know, I just looked at the thing anyways. I know what it tastes like, but look how runny this one is. Okay, we're going to try this again tomorrow because we still have some mix left. But we're going to freeze it for three hours instead of just an hour and a half. And see what difference that makes in uh, the consistency of the ice cream. We also have to refreeze the... The um, outside portion, the cooler... this. This part that we're eating, we have to freeze that um, for another 24 hours, so. So we will do that, and we will try this again, and um, that will be at the end of this video. And we'll let you know what difference that makes, but man, it sure does taste good. Alright guys, I am back with the Dash uh, Mini Ice Cream Makers. And that one's starting to struggle a little. Let's see what's happening. All right, guys, that's what I wanted to see. Ice cream. 
Um, and here's the other one. So there we go. Uh, so definitely, definitely chill your mixture for more like um, three hours. Mine actually chilled too long. Um, <laughs> probably more like six. So it was almost ice cream already before I put it in the um, in the makers. But as you can see, it actually turned it into ice cream. So instead of a runny milkshake. So I just wanted to give you that update on how the, you know, to get the Dash um, ice cream makers to make ice cream um, and not runny milkshake. Uh, I'm not sure if three hours would have been enough, but I would do no less than three hours on the freezing and maybe go even more like four um, or five, but you don't want to turn it to ice cream before you turn your ice cream, so which I kind of did, but uh, we had some some things that came up and uh, put us <laughs> put us off our video time a little bit. But anyway, yes, there you go. Um, just wanted to give you that update and show you that they really, really do work. They really do churn up ice cream. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving these guys. Um, I will put a link for them in the description. And I will see you again uh, soon in another video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I up oh, and Bugatti's coming to see what's going on with the ice cream. <laughs> All right, guys. Bukitty, what are you doing? See you soon. Bye. Say hi, I'm Mr. Cuteness. You never did see such a cute little boy. Hey, Boo. Oh, kitty, what you doing? Really? Bye.